What is up everyone, I'm Hayden 17 welcome back to some more Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Spyro 2, Riptos Rage. Hey Sparks. Anyways, Idle Springs is coming up next, which is right now. Sparks, you were not supposed to grab that. Anyways, Idle Springs. So, um, one skill point and a trophy in this level. Thing is, uh, I don't recall the trophy, but uh, don't worry about it. And here we go. Uh, Idle Springs. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! So, uh, we just gotta kill these guys. Um, excuse me for... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just... I really forgot the trophy for this level. For, for a good little moment there. But, um... So, I was just looking up just in the background just now and uh, it's rather easy so no need to worry about it also since we had to do to get the swimming ability first before entering the level that means we can now do this we can dive into the lead into the water and uh, collect our gems down that are placed down here uh, camera angle is a bit weird, I'd say, but um, not not straight out impossible or annoying, but uh, weird, really, like really really weird, a bit, at least. But uh, I'll probably get used to it at some point. Anyways, we're gonna do a challenge already. Cause there's a f well, like while we're here, we might as well start on it, you know. And uh, get a north. So um, yeah. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. I'm not that stupid, goddammit. All you gotta do is this, 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 and boom. Wow, Spyro, you did it. I mean. Uh... I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Again, everything is the same, like as it always were. So, um, there's nothing new to the game. It's exactly as the originals. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. And sure, I will. Because here's the trophy. All you gotta do is not feed him a single red fish. So keep an eye out. If you're colorblind, you got a problem. But, uh... You might have a problem, maybe. I don't know how it is to be colorblind. I gotta, I gotta say that. But, uh... Just don't press the button. You know, the flame button. When you see a red fish. Whatever you do, avoid the red fish. Simple as that. One more, and then we get our trophy. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. And like you said, we'll meet at the colored stones. Now we can do this level properly. Like, get into it! Right? Also, in the next part, I can already say, there we'll do the homeworld, the summer forest homeworld properly, because, uh, because uh, then we cleared what we needed to clear to begin with, at least. I mean, I'm just doing it in the order that I find most effective. If, if you want to 100% it, you know? 100% the entire game. Like, uh, I don't see the point of, you know, entering a level... And, uh... Entering a level and not get everything you need in one go. Yeah, I don't care, Zoe, okay? Okay. 
so yeah, if 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 you're in such a if you if you feel the way I feel, then uh, yeah, this might be helpful. I mean, I, there's probably others who's played this and done it much faster than I have, but you know, I'm trying my best here to talk you through all of this stuff. Like, I find it so dull to just watch videos and uh, and that's it. You know, there's no one there to guide you, like like how I'm guiding you with my voice in a way. Uh, I find it dull that you have to just sit there and watch a video and be like, Oh, so that's how this guy does it and such. I mean, there's no explanation. No straight explanation. Only uh, only the only the video, you know? Instead of a little, uh, little bra background talking and... Yeah, she, she, she still annoys me. And small things like that. Small things like that. So the last puzzle should be right here, and so it is. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Fair enough. Simple as always. So this is blue square and has a star. You can jump here and start a circle. This is green, uh, uh, hexagon? No, hexagon. And, uh... And green, right? So, um, yeah, this. I mean, ju just jump in the pattern that makes the most sense. And, uh, there you go. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. He be talking. Damn about me, you! I can't. Oh, you know. I'm pretty smart for a dragon. What does she mean about that? Ah, gaga, ba, da, ba. What sucks about this? Now I have to pretty. Much, okay. Uh, now I pretty much have to go through all what I already been through. But um, status check. One more orb to collect, and uh, near enough halfway with the gems. Uh, it's, it's alright, because um, most of the gems I is in a portion of this level, like, in a straight line of this level, so, uh, we'll get a lot of gems there, and, uh, then we'll finish the level easily off quite fast afterwards, so, uh, it's alright. Also, the talisman should be around here. This sh should be the end of the stage as well, which is right there. And Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. There you go, talisman. So climb up here first before we continue on. Get these few gems, and uh, now you can go back. Yeah, don't worry about the water here. Most of the time, don't worry about the water. Some water will still, I believe, damage you, but um, you don't, you won't worry about it that often. So uh, it's just about, you know, go for it. Just go for it. Uh, there should be a skill point nearby here. Um. Oh, so yeah. You see the idol statue over there, the big thingy there. You have to land on top of it to get the skill point. Uh, where is it best to do it from? I do believe... I am not sure where. You, uh, you know what? I actually believe from here. So let's give it a go. There you go. Skill point. And orb challenge down here. All you gotta do is, yeah, we're not gonna talk. We're we're, we're just gonna charge through it and get our orb. So uh, here we go. Two, three, four, five, and boom. Look at that! The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Sure it could. I mean, it, 
it kind of will, but, uh, yeah, whatever. That's all the orbs. Yes, it is. And now we all, we got the talisman, we got the orbs. Now all we have left is the gems. And, uh, most often will be on our path. L unless, oh, look, a life. Unless I stupidly enough miss some obvious ones, then uh, sparks will guide me. But uh, that looks like it. So now we're gonna climb back up and go the way that was that I was about to go. Because uh, that's gonna lead me back to the beginning of the level. And uh, yeah, th this is why I missed. I just ignored these uh, boxes or baskets in the first place. Because because we we were gonna go this way anyway. So. Uh, yeah. So, uh, getting all these gems, or following this path, would lead me back to uh, the beginning of the level. Because there's a metal crate there, which I need to break up, uh, break open, and I need a rocket for that. Now, that rocket is placed somewhere here. Just making sure I'm collecting everything. Like, everything on my way. And, uh, this rocket. This is the rocket I was talking about. We are missing... 44 gems Hopefully the rocket will guide me to them. You can actually do this now. I've seen oh boy Just nailed it Yeah, so I think yeah some of the gems will fall in the water uh, da, da, da. One more there we are missing something we are missing two gems all right up here? Where? Oh. So somewhere... Oh. 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 How did I... Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> wow. How did I miss those two? That doesn't matter. We're done. Uh. I. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you exit the level. You can do it like this. Like. As, as you did in the first game as well. You can do it the same way. Weird, but at least they're not attacking anymore, you know? So, uh... Alright, I guess? Uh? Anyways, um... Yeah, I could have exited the level through the portal, but uh, that would require me to go through the level again, and it would be pointless. But um, that was Idle Springs, 100% done. Colossus and Idle Springs done, completely, if we look in the guidebook. However, those two levels are the only two levels in, uh, in this part of the homeworld, so... Uh, in the next part, we will actually just have a look at what we haven't looked at yet. We will look around the Summer Forest homeworld, and it will be a relatively short part. But uh, we'll collect everything that we can collect, and then we'll move on to the next level. So, uh, not much in the next part, but Spire is fired up for it anyways. So, uh, until then, I'm Hedeo Sentin. I will see you there. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and... Peace.